One thing that's really impressed me about Assassin's Creed Origins so far is its attention to detail. So I thought why not make a video taking a look at some of these little features. So here we are with five cool little features in Assassin's Creed Origins. Do bear in mind that this is in no particular order and there are other cool little features as well that I could cover in a part 2 if you want that be sure to let me know which features you'd like to see showcased in that but without further ado let's begin. So to start off with you can actually toggle beard and hair now to do this you need to go to the gear menu and press if you're using an Xbox controller right trigger and Y to toggle the beard and left trigger and Y to toggle the hair. I'm not quite sure what the keyboard and mouse controls are or the PlayStation 4 controls but I'm sure you can figure it out from what I've told you. Now do bear in mind that if you die you will respawn clean shaven and bold but if you like the bearded and hairy bayek that we got at the start of the game then you'll like this. Next up we have got the backwards leap of faith. Which is cool because it just looks cool, doesn't it? It's a backwards leap of faith. I do believe you can actually do them from funny angles as well, like to the side. Or you can drop off of ropes and do like a proper backflip and then land in a haystack and things like that. But I haven't managed to find those in my experience. Next up, if you find yourself exploring the desert, you might want to be a little careful. Actually don't, this is actually quite fun. So after a while of running around in the desert, Bayek will begin to stumble because of obviously he's tired, dehydrated and probably overheating a little bit. You probably think that'll be the end of it, he just stumbles about, but nah, Bayek actually begins to hallucinate in the desert. Sometimes he will see people in the distance pointing towards something who will vanish when he gets close, sometimes he'll see fires that simply aren't there. You may sometimes stumble across Bayek's own dead body with Senu perched atop it and a shield next to him. You may see other things like meteor showers or meteors going towards Siwa, or you may see a second sun rise from the horizon. You may also see it rain scarabs, that is only a small portion of what you might experience. Next up we have sandstorms. So. If you find yourself exploring the world, there is a good chance that you'll find yourself in the middle of a sandstorm at some point because they are fairly common and when you go into them, visibility is quite minimal and it just feels cool to experience to be honest. It looks nice and it adds to that immersion of this is the desert, this is Egypt, sandstorms, cool. Bayek will give you forewarning when a sandstorm is nearby so you'll know when you're about to go into one. And finally for today's list we have the fact that Senu can do a barrel roll. Now I believe to do this you have to hold down say on the Xbox controls the right button and then move around and just quickly sharply turn from left to right a couple times and that's what triggered it for me. But again that could be me clunkily overthinking the controls but Senu doing a barrel roll is quite cool. So there you have it for today everybody, those are 5 cool little features in Assassin's Creed Origins. Please do let me know down in the comments section any tiny features that I might have missed that are cool and could make it into a part 2 video, I would appreciate that. But thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share, comment, let your friends know about this video and the channel if you so wish. And I will see you all very soon in another video at some point.